Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. At Harvest, you have one goal, finding the perfect flow of grain from the field to the bend. Case IH Axial Flow Combines are engineered for matched capacity to deliver proven grain savings so you can keep efficiency flowing smoothly. Find yours with the Case IH Axial Flow. The awareness of soil pH issues and the agricultural use of lime to fix the low pH areas is a hot topic right now. We'll discuss lime and how to apply it in today's Iron Talk. Raising a low pH back up into the sixes has been a great return on investment on farms across the country. The other reason liming is on the rise is simply to build the calcium levels in various soils regardless of pH. Whether it's to loosen up a tight, high magnesium clay soil or to balance out fertility levels in general, calcium, and especially lime, is in high demand. Unfortunately, you need a lime spreader to get the job done unless you're going to use pelletized lime. Now, the chain and paddle drive on a regular spinner spreader, well, it just can't move a bulk ag lime product. For most farms, it may mean hiring someone to spread the lime. On our farm, we've been using water treatment plant lime from a nearby city who had contracted with a professional to spread the lime for people. We're also hearing livestock manure spreaders with vertical beaters can be used if managed closely. Well, no matter how you do it, accurately spreading lime can be a big benefit in the right soils, but you need to grid or zone soil sample to target the right lime rates and applications to fit the areas of the field that'll benefit from it. Also, while you don't need tillage to get the lime to work, tillage can speed up the impact that it has on your soil. If you're doing tillage, it doesn't have to be super deep, as most of the plant's root systems will be in the top six inches of soil, and that's the area that you need to impact most commonly. For no-till guys, my biggest advice is just don't wait. Get the lime out there in the fall after harvest so rainfall can move it down in the soil and begin the reaction that you're looking for. That's all for today's Iron Talk on Lime, and now back to the show. <laughs> 